Welcome to another um, walkthrough video. And in this walkthrough video, we will teach you how to sign into Google and get access into um, Google Collab, which has Python and um, our programming um, softwares, which you could use for different analytic um, projects that you're interested in working working on. All right, so we have a little outline of just some very short, simple tasks that we would do today. Um, please follow along as we um, go through each of the steps we have in our outline today. So the first thing is you can open your browser, either Google Chrome or Safari or Mozilla Firefox or whatever browser you're using. I'm using um, Google Chrome and um, I pretty much like it. Um, first thing you do is let's just search for, let's just say I would go with Google Drive, right? And then let's let's sign in. So I'm going to sign in here and then type in my password. Oops. Okay, so let me imagine I forgot my password. That's interesting. All right, so I think I got it now. Uh, all right, so now I have to do the the Google verification. And let them know it's me. So, all right, so now we're in, right? The next thing I want us to do is, let's go over to Drive. All right, so basically what I did was I just clicked on the Google Apps here, right? And then I, I clicked on drives, right? So it opens it in a in a new um, tab. And then if you click on new and then go to more, here you'd start seeing all the different um, apps that Google has from Google Docs, Google Sheets, and so on and so forth. So you could basically um, use, use all of these different apps here if you're interested in using them. So Although I have Google Collaboratory installed, this is the app we're using, right? Um, most of you might not have it installed, so I'm going to show you how to install it, and then we can come back um, here. So click on Connect More Apps, and then on the Search bar, all you just need to type is Collaboratory, right? And you um, click on it. And for me, since I have it installed, um, you could see it shows installed here, but if you don't have it installed on your computer, just click on it, um, click on it, and then up here, instead of uninstall, you would see install, right? Um, and then you just click on it to install. I think it, it it's pretty fast, right? Um, because it's not, it's not going to install on your computer or anything. It's just going to install um, Collab on your uh, Google account and your Google, and it's going to be part of your Google apps. Right, so you can read the overview um, for it. It's often called um, Collab, and as I stated earlier, we use it for analysis, either Python or R-related type of um, analysis, and everything is done in the cloud, right? And it also saves it to your Google Drive. So it's completely free. You can access it anywhere in the world. You don't have to um, worry about downloading complicated um, Python apps. All right, so now that this is all taken care of, let's go back and see how we could start using it. So once you're done with the installation, you can close out that file, come down to more, and then click on Google Collaboratory or Google Collab. All right, so I'm going to take this off. We're done with, we're done with the, the signing portion. All right, and 
just gonna yep we're done with that and let me put this as a green color instead green all right sweet so the next thing we're also done with installing collab as well so i put that as a green too and then now we're going to look at a walkthrough of collab right so this is how it looks like when you open it for the first time right and we have different tabs and i would let i would kind of walk you through what each of these tabs um mean right the very first one is the is the collab logo which is co um, when you click on it it kind of takes you to the location where that collab file is saved in your google drive right so and you could go there and see your other collab files um, as well so i'm just going to go back all right and then the first part here is kind of like having us to, to name your file so i can just say um simple walkthrough all right um so now i have that named um and then let's look at what we have in the different tabs right so file you can see all the different um uh functions that we have under file, you could locate your drive, you could open a new notebook, um, or you could open an existing one, or you could upload, if maybe a friend shares their notebook with you, you could upload it in here, you could move this notebook to trash, you could save it in drive. And I think one other thing I like about Collab is the fact that you can connect your, your notebook to your GitHub account, right? So if you have a GitHub, you could do all of that here as well you could save you could also download it and you could print it so those are some of the functions you have on that the file tab the next one is the edit tab right just basically helps you with basic editing stuff like selecting all the files copying or cutting and pasting um, different um, cells in there right then we have a view um, tab as well you could see a table of contents if you arrange um, if you like to give a header to all of your codes right as you code it you could you could see all of those different headers in a table of content and you could just click on the header and it takes you directly to um, that content right then we have we have the insert um, uh, tab here as well right and then the the runtime which is basically used if you want to run all the different cells you have or you want to run a particular um, uh, cell, right? That's what this first um, part is about. And then the second part is um, once you connect your collab and you start running it, which I'll show you guys later on, you could see how you can um, either interrupt it when it's running or trying to perform a task, um, or you can restart it if you're having some, um, maybe some delays or some issues and things of that nature. And then the next tab is tools, right? There's a command palette. You could do some settings and then you can learn some different um, keyboard um, shortcuts. And then there's a help page, right? You could see frequently asked questions and get some feedback and things like that. So those are some of the things that you find between the file all the way to the help tab. And then another thing I like about Collab is that it saves automatically, right? So you don't have to do Control S every time. So every time you do some work, it's just gonna be saving it automatically, right? And then here, if you wanna put comments on your on your um, your 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 codes as you go along so that you could maybe remember whatever you did there, um, you could just click on the comments here and put that there. And then you could also share your collab with other people, right? So that they can basically work with you on the same um, file or see what you're doing. Then here we have the settings to change if I maybe want to make it a dark team or make it um, an adaptive. So it changes based on the day and time and all those different things. You could do all of that. And here, I'm just going to leave it as light. And then um, there's an editor mode, Collab Pro. Um, uh, this is like different subscription plans per month, if you want to use that. 
And then this is where I said you can connect your, your collab to, to your GitHub. So I can let you explore all of that later on. All right. So we then have two little tabs here. Um, the first one is code, right? That's where you would impute all your maybe Python or R codes. You put them in the code um, cells, right? Then the text cells lets you actually type in um, uh, textual information, right? Then um, connect is basically uh, creating um, a runtime right in order for you to start performing all your different tasks and um, it has like a ram and a dix so instead of using the the inbuilt ram and dix from your computer you're basically using the one from the cloud right that's how all of that um, works so then remember i told you the table of contents so you'd see all of them here right and then this uh tab here that looks like a folder or a file lets you see all the data you import into um, R or even lets you get access to your Google Drive, right? So I'll show you guys in another video how to connect your Google Drive to your, to your collab so that when you put the data in your Google Drive, you can just easily import it into, into your um, collab. So that's the... Um, quick collab walkthrough, right? So we're done with item number three. I'm just going to highlight that out. And then now let's look at item number four, right? Just performing some simple tasks on a collab. So let's just say we wanted to do uh, maybe some simple math equation, right? Let's say X, just call it X and say, um, we want to do maybe, 20 plus 20 uh, divided by 3.4, right? So we literally have that there. And then in my next cell, I can, I can ask it to, hey, can you let me know what X would be, right? So all you have to do is click on the play button here, right? And it just loads. Right. So basically what it has done is that it has stored this math problem as X, right? So when I run X again, it's going to tell me what the answer is to that math problem, right? So in this case, X is 11.76, right? So just a simple um, tax. You could you could find other different tasks that you can do um, on Python, on Google Colab, um, online, right? So now to show you guys the, the text part, right? So here you click on that text symbol, right? And we could just say simple collab task, right? So it's, uh, yeah, this is how it would show you, all right? So if we go to table of contents, you will not see it here, right? But let's try this. So if we put it as the hashtag to let, let you know that, hey, we want this to be a header, right? So now it's a header, it's going to show in our table of content. So anytime I click this header on my table of content, it's gonna, it's gonna literally take me to that section um, of the cell in my collab where it is. So that's all what we have. Oh no, before we go, yeah, just to show you, I can change the position of this by clicking on the arrow keys, right? Um, we could also copy the link to that particular cell. We could put a comment there and be like, hey, can you take a look at this and just put a comment there, right? And that comment stays there. If I take a look at it, I mark it off. Um, but if you click on that, if you click on the pencil, it allows you to edit it, right? And then there are other editing um, uh, functions here. We could put a smiley face or whatever you want to put in there, right? Then you could also delete it as well, right? Um, so those are some of the different um, things you could do with Google Collab. All right, so thank you for joining us today. Um, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.